Hi there, King J here, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we're going to talk about where in the hell I've been for the last month and a half, and we're going to use some of my new products to create this look right here. So, if you're interested in seeing where I've been and how to get this look, keep on watching. Feels like nobody else, nobody else, but my Alright, so as you can see, I have already done my eyes off camera. For eyes today, I used the Makeup Geek Stroke of Midnight Holiday Edition palette. I love this palette so much. I only used a couple of the shades to create this look, but I have been playing around and these shadows are really, really gorgeous. I really love them. I think that you can get like an everyday look or kind of blown out like a party look with these. Um, this is what I did today. I just felt like very like, kind of like, I don't know, like African tree frog-esque. So, here's the thing. Um, I am super busy at my job. My job takes up a lot of my time. I work a lot of hours and I work really late and really early. So pretty much I've been really focused on that and trying to make sure that I'm doing uh, my best and giving my all at that. Um, for primer today, we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Um, you guys know that this is like one of my favorite primers of all time. Um, I just use about two pumps and we're just gonna prime our face. Yeah, so work takes up a lot of my time and I've also been like trying to do some other projects as you guys can see. Um, my lighting setup is a little bit different and I am working every day to bring new things in to my setup. So that is also where I've gone. Um, the last video I posted before I kind of like ghosted out of the place. Um, did have the new intro that I had been working on for quite some time um, in it, and I will use that intro for a while, maybe, but I am working on an even more true-to-self intro, but I do really like the one that I did um, create there. Alright, so today I do have a new foundation to try. We're going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade number 7, Sand. Um, I've never, this is like my first like Milani like product ever. Um, it looks like a pretty good shade match and we're also using the Elf Flawless, or the Elf, um, I'm sorry, not Flawless, the Elf Blending Sponge. I like the amount of coverage um, that I'm getting so far. Yeah, this is okay. I know a lot of people like love this. I don't know if I feel about that. Feel that for it yet. Um, we'll see once we like have more things on. But like right now, like it's very like your skin but better. Like if you can see like right here where I don't have foundation wears right here where I do. It's definitely like a your skin, but like better kind of thing. I'm very here for that. I just like, I also um, have been crazy, like uninspired. Um, like the holiday season really like got to me as far as like makeup went, everyone was like making themselves like look like a box of presents and shit. And I just was like, man, I, I, this is so annoying. Like, you know, I told you guys before, like I hate Halloween, um, especially just, just makeup wise, just cause it's like so stressful and everyone's like doing the most and it's just like hard to keep up and hard to create something interesting when people are literally changing their entire appearance, you know? And so, I just kind of let myself be busy with work and like improving myself and my channel. So that's kind of like the deal with that. Um, but I'm back. I am gonna be, especially on YouTube, because I do enjoy making videos and I definitely want to um, provide myself with a few more upgrades, but I feel like I need to make um, a bigger commitment to YouTube before I start doing those um, things because they will be pricey. Um, but if, the, if I decide this is something I like really, 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 really want to do, then it'll be 
worth it, you know? Cool, so, yeah. I don't like, I don't like hate how I look right now. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Um, yeah, I'm not like mad at all with how my face looks. Um, yeah, this is, this is freaking great. I'm like very, 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 very pleased. Um, we're gonna use Wet n Wild concealer in the shade Medium Tawny um, to highlight our under eyes today. And you guys know I love this powder, but you know I hate this. This is the dumbest thing ever. I can't get the amount of powder that I want out ever. So we're gonna try and oh, got it. get that open again. This video is a mess. Um, LOL, uh, 2019 is gonna be my year. That's why I didn't say that shit because I knew it was a lot. I'm afraid I'm gonna get powder everywhere. Oh my god, yes! Sick. Okay. Whew. Here we go! Ooh. Just gonna pounce it on the elf sponge. Ooh, this is gonna suck. Okay, you guys, I think we've brought peace to the village. Okay, I am thoroughly happy with that. My under eyes don't look the absolute best, but they definitely look better than they did. Whew, because this was a train wreck. I was definitely stressed for a very brief moment about what my under eyes are going to look like. But now, I'm proud to say that I no longer have that stress. So to contour today, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Pure Cosmetics Contour Diaries. We're going to use the Sage Secret. Secret. Kill me. The Sage... The Shade Secret. Oh no, I just hit pan. This is my favorite shade. I'm going to cry. A lot of horrible things happen to good people. Oh. Once again, we're gonna take that elf sponge and our milk set and blur powder. Carve out and blend out that concert. Concert. <laughs> Carve out and blend out that contour. Sorry, y'all. Can't speak today. Get over it. You grow up. Whoever said makeup was fun is a liar. I'm just kidding. We have fun here. Can't you be just turn off? For highlighter today, we're going to be using the ABH Amreezy Highlighter. Ooh. Stunning, right? Cool. So now that we have our highlighter on, we're going to go ahead and go in with our favorite blush of all time. You guys already know the Urban Decay blush in the shade Kinky. Um, this is all of it that I have left, which is super duper sad. But we're going to just go in with our Morphe rose gold blush brush and just kind of take that over everything over here and just kind of take it over the nose a little bit So 
sweet. Once you're done with blush, you guys know, we're gonna take a little spritz, and today I'm using the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. Ooh, that feels really nice, actually. Um, I just got that as well. All right. So next up, we're gonna go with lips, and for lips today, we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in the shade Thick. Oh, she's pigmented. Oh, she's very pigmented, y'all. Yeah, I'm definitely here for this Fenty. Um, this is my first experience with the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle. And I am here for it, yeah. I really thought I was gonna like them, and so far I really do, they're really comfortable. I'm definitely gonna put a gloss over this, I just don't know which glossy yet, but that will happen. So first we're gonna go in with my new favorite mascara, the Maybelline Snap Mascara. Uh, this is the black one, it comes in like a dark cherry shade, a blue shade, a dark blue shade, and a purple, and brown I think. And I haven't tried the colored ones, um, I kind of think that colored mascara is corny. They just never seem to like really work. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna run off camera real quick and pop on some lashes and then I'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back. So I just popped on these new Sephora Lash Stories lashes in the shade Lash Away and added just a little bit more of snap scare just to give them a little bit of I really like the way that they like fan out at the edge and just kind of like pull my lip look together All right, we're gonna go in with a little bit of gloss now over top of the Fenty thick lipstick I'm trying to decide what gloss I want to use. Ooh, I think this is a winner Yes, so this is the Morphe Lip topper in the shade hypnotized part of like the holiday collection Yeah, I think this color really, like, really pulled the lips together. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and give ourselves one little last spray. Well, all right, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, this is my finished look. I really hope you like some of the products that I used, and I'm really gonna try to be more consistent with the content that I post and when I post it. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss when I do upload, if I upload, and keep it real, keep it black. You know the deal on that.